So we will now prove the Euclid's lemma. So let me write the statement of Euclid's lemma. Let P be a prime. Such that. P is a P is dividing A into B. Then we have to prove that P divides A. Or. P divides. So this is a Euclid lemma. So so let me take P to be some some prime number which is seven, and if I come to know that seven is dividing multiplication of some two numbers, okay, then you, according to Euclid lemma, it comes up to be that seven must either divide the first number or seven must divide the second number. It can happen that seven can divide both the number all also, right? For example, if I take seven divides what? If I take p is seven, and I know that seven uh, does divide, uh, seven does divide forty-two. So this means seven divides seven into six. So here it is clear that seven always divides seven, but seven divides six. This is wrong. Okay, said. So this means that seven divides only the first number. It may happen that you may write forty-two as seven divides forty-two. You can write it seven divides six into seven. So in this case, you know, seven does not divide the first number. But seven divides certainly the second number. That is true. It may happen that you may write seven divides forty nine. What will the uh, be the conclusion? So this means seven divides seven into seven, and that is the meaning that seven divides seven, seven divides seven. You know, are correct, right? So whenever there is a or in between, okay, it means that either first is true, second is false, or first is false, second is true. First is also true and second is also true. Okay, so that is the meaning of a p divides a or p divides b means it will divide one of them or it can divide both of them. Okay, it should not happen that p does not divide both of them. That is not possible. So what Euclid's lemma states is that p must divide at least one of them. Means it can divide both of them also or it has to divide at least one of them. Right. So how will you now prove this? So Remember that p is a p is a prime number. Okay, so the proof of this is so given to us is that p is prime. First thing, second, p divides a into b. We are given that p divides the multiplication of the two numbers, and we want to show p divides a or P divides B. Okay, so if you want to show that P divides A or P divides B, what I will do is I will assume that P does not divide A, and I will then prove that in that case, if P does not divide A, then I am forced to prove that P is divided <laughs> dividing B, right? So suppose P does not divide A. Then this I'm going to call three. So my my assumptions are three assumptions now. First is p is prime. Second is p divides a b. And third assumption is p does not divide a. Therefore, I'm forced to prove that p has to divide b. Okay. Now by equation three, we know that p does not divide a. And p is a prime number. So if I have seven is a prime number, and if seven is not dividing the number ten, okay, this is less situation like this. Seven is a prime number, but seven is not dividing ten. What can I say about the GCD of those two numbers? If the two numbers are, if one number is not dividing the other number, and one of them is a prime number. Then what can I say about the GCD of the two numbers? Then this means that the, the GCD of the two numbers p and a has to be equal to how much? Has to be equal to one. Right. Once the GCD is equal to one, now I can use Euclid's Euclidean algorithm. What is Euclidean algorithm? So according to the Euclidean algorithm, I can say that 
there exist integer m and there exist integer n such that one the gcd can be written as a linear combination of the two numbers linear combination of which two numbers linear combination of the numbers p and a pm plus an this is what this is your euclidean algorithm and therefore i will now i see in this picture that one is there prime number is there a is also there so the person who is missing in this picture is b so i must bring b in the picture also so what is the technique to bring b in the picture we will multiply this equation by b multiply by b so i will get b is equal to b into p into m is equal to b into a into n right now what is according to according to equation 2 we all know what was equation 2 equation 2 was p divides ab right and therefore this means that ab can be written as p times k by our definition of divisibility where what is k k is some integer so this ab can be replaced by what p multiplied by k in the above equation so i will get b is equal to b into p into m plus ab is replaced by what p k n on the right hand side because of that i can now take prime number common p into bm plus kn and this is b this bm plus kn i am going to call some k dash which is b equal to p into k dash where k dash is some integer and this states that b equal to p into k means p divides b and this is what we wanted to prove okay so the next problem that we are going to see is that if p is a prime and if a square is congruent to b square modulo p then i want to prove that a is congruent to plus minus b modulo p so let us write the solution so what we know is that a square is congruent to b square modulo p right the meaning of this is that a square congruent to b square modulo p means a square minus b square is what a square minus b square is divisible by p the p is a prime number okay don't forget that a square minus b square is divisible by p means what p that is p divides a square minus b square and how do we write the initial notations we write it as p divides this vertical line stands for divides a square minus b square and therefore we can write a square minus b square as what a plus b into a minus b okay now this is like p i know that p is a prime okay and this is looking like p divides a into b what is capital a capital a is a plus b what is capital b I can say what? So let me let you let them on. By you let them, I can say that P divides capital A or P divides capital B. So this is your you let them, right? So therefore, I will say that by you let them, you can say that P divides A plus B or P divides A minus B. p divides a plus b means what a plus b is divisible by p or a minus b is divisible by p right this a plus b i can write in the form of subtraction okay this i will not change this is not a problem but this is a problem so i will write a minus of minus b means a plus b okay is divisible by p or a minus b is divisible by p as it is okay 
So what is a minus minus b divisible by b? Or what is the meaning of a minus b is divisible by b? Means a is congruent to b modulo b. This is the meaning of a minus b is divisible by b in terms of modulo. Right. Similarly, what will a minus of minus b divisible by b mean? Means a is congruent to minus b modulo. So from both of these, we conclude that I, A is either B modulo P or A is minus B modulo P. And the conclusion of this will be A is congruent to what? Plus or minus B modulo P. So this is what we want to prove.